what we have here is an M85 cluster munition and as you can see it's with the self-destruct mechanism which means this shouldn't exist. This should have, if not functioned, it should have self-destructed and this should be blown to pieces. But this site doesn't just contain one of these M85s with a self-destruct mechanism. So far we've located in excess of 20. They're spread over an area of around about 50 by 50 metres and we're sure they would extend further. Here is a second one and as you can see it's armed. The other one was not armed, this one is armed and it's sitting here waiting to cause trouble to anybody who comes into contact with it. Only three metres further on is another. Again, I only have to go another three metres and I find yet another. And as you can see by the arming hammer, it is most definitely armed and definitely dangerous. So for it to be in this situation, in this condition, the self-destruct mechanism has most certainly failed. If I move further forward, I will find you a few more. Here is another two, almost side by side. This one then less than one metre away is this one. As you can see, it is armed. So again, proving the complete failure of the self-destruct mechanism. I won't fool around in this place for terribly long because I admit to feeling quite uncomfortable being here but I'll just try and give you a bit of an overview as to what this site is like. You can see the road, a large rock on the left hand side we've found our first clusters just to the base of that. There's one in line with the vehicle now and you'll see there's, look carefully you'll see there's more little bits of tape that we've tied up around the ones that we've easily found. In this view, you can see two, three, four, five, six, seven of them in a line. There are many more around, and we're going to leave that for the task of the Battle Area's Clearance Team to sort out, but it does leave us with some very, very irrefutable facts that M85s with self-destruct mechanisms simply do not work.